Hey guys, I'm Sarah Austin. And I'm John C. Dvorak. And we're going to be talking about CES 2012. And mainly about the television stuff going on, which is the future of this show. I mean, this show is a TV show. It's always about TVs, you guys. Last year is 3D TVs, and now it's about more super... 3D, and more 3D TVs this yeah. year. Now more. we have with the circular <laughs> polarizers, we don't have to wear this crazy expensive glasses. They've got oh, the good, new... Oh, good, good, new, finally. Like, yeah, they've got Duh. the new real 3D kind of things, which is crazy technology, but it's It is cheap. cool, it's cool. I, I was thinking uh, last time, I was like, why do we have glasses still? Isn't that kind of like from the 50s? I don't think you're going to get you, around the glasses. It? I don't think you're going to get around the glasses. But I think more interesting on this show, we have this 8K TV. Yeah, the 8K TV, I saw a little bit about that on Spike. We haven't even seen 4K TVs commercially, and they're showing 8K TVs at the show. I, this will never sell. They'll never. This is your, this is the decade away, at least. It's like looking out a window. It's so clear you can't. Have even, you seen it? I, well, I saw it on Spike. On Spike oh, okay, TV. Oh, but you haven't actually seen one. Mm, no, no. Apparently, it's the def. Yeah, it would probably be look. Yeah, like reality. It's like ugh, probably be creepy. No, I think it'll be cool. How much is it? Do you think like a million dollars? I'm guessing a couple hundred grand. That would be my guess. There's also a couple big sets. They got an 84 inch. Uh, which I think is, is that the 8K? Not sure, it's ultra definition. No, isn't it OLED? Yeah, that's the OLED no, OLED's TV. OLED's only the 50. Okay, you know. so a big 3D TV. What's the big deal? It's big <laughs> and it's 3D. Okay, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I find that uh, going to the CES show just to look at TV sets is not my idea of a good weekend. Well, we don't really go to watch the TVs, do we? We well, just I sort of pass by. We just wanna like go there and party. Right, John. The parties are just, you go to these parties, they're crowded with a bunch of guys you've never met in your life and they don't, they look like scroungers. And, and there's huge boatloads of shrimp. You know, these giant jumbo <laughs> shrimp, which is a, uh, kind of an oxymoron, but these jumbo shrimp. And people say, oh my God, did you see the size of those shrimp? And so everyone flocks over and they gobble down the shrimp. It just seems like a, it's almost decadent in some kind of sick way. I, I, I find it very offensive actually. Well, it's you much, find it offensive. Not, I go there and I'm swarmed with like 10 guys trying to ask for my business card. They just want to give you a call and harass you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why I don't so bring any. Would you like to go to the movies this weekend? So the, anyway, smart TVs, what it's really about. Well, we're starting to see that coming out everywhere. And I think it, uh, this is the kind of the interesting thing going on. Google has decided to, uh, they, you know, they're not giving up on Google TV. And so they're, they're, the deal now is they're going to get these big manufacturers to incorporate Google TV into the set so you have the smart set. And so you can have like a, essentially an internet experience on the big yeah. giant TV and you can go from one thing to another, get some IPTV, you can get regular cable, you can get your dish network, whatever you want to do. You can and, watch Netflix, And Hulu, you can have stuff on YouTube. the side, you can have a window and a window with a browser over here and a TV show over here. It's going to be pretty spectacular. Yep. And that'll be at next year's show. And also bringing your mobile devices to the TV so you can have that experience. Well, the iPad will be talking to the TV mm -hmm. and it'll have some, maybe a little screen here and you could, and I can imagine. There. And you push the button and this, what you got here flops up to there yep. and this one comes down to the iPad. Yeah. That's cool. All that's going to be happening. Yeah, that's great. And my belief is that 90% of the market and 90% of the users will never figure out how to use these sets. <laughs> They're going to go, My, I don't know how to do this. And it's going to yeah. be worse than ever. It used to be bad where, you know, nobody could use the remote control and they couldn't <laughs> set the clock on the VCR. And now it's going to be, they won't even know how to barely use, can I, how do I get to a channel? Uh, that's Good who, point. That's going to be the future of the, of the United States and technology. So there you have it for the future of TVs. 8K TVs. Yes. I'm Sarah Austin. And this is John C. Dvorak. You've been filled in on CES 2012. Subscribe.